Hi folks, Scott here from mindtothemax.com. Hope you're all well. In this video, I'm going to be going over how noisy a mining rig is slash isn't. Anyway, uh, we'll get stuck right into it. Um, I have a three GPU mining rig at the moment. It has graphics cards like this. This is a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Two massive fans on it. Um, and I was pretty worried when I first started thinking about building a mining rig, um, exactly how noisy it was going to be and the type of heat that was going to be generated from it. Um, I was put off building a mining rig by an admin of a beginner Bitcoin forum at the time. Um, and they told me, mine rigs are too much noise and to generate too much heat. Don't do it, Scott. You're crazy if you go and do it. I didn't follow that woman's advice. Um, she was the admin of the group at and I, I've left the group now, but um, I'm pretty happy that I didn't follow her advice because, you know, building a mining rig is good fun and you get to learn a lot. So, you know, building the rig, I was wondering how how noisy is, it, how noisy is this going to be? I mean, you've got more than one graphics card and they're running at 100% load all the time. How noisy are they going to be? Well, to tell you the truth, not that noisy. And there's some tweaks that you can do that I'll go into um, to actually reduce the, the amount of noise. If you don't have a mining rig at the moment, a really useful um, website post that I've just done on my site is called How Loud is a Mining Rig? And it basically goes into detail about how to calculate noise levels um, of multiple sound sources. So you would think that, for example, um, let's have a look here at the noise load um, on mindtothemax.com. This table basically tells you um, how noisy a graphics card is at under load um, so you can kind of get a guess of how loud your mining rig is going to be so um, let me see if I can pull up a 1080 Ti we've got here a 1080 Ti it's going to be 41 decibels so in you know in your head you're thinking okay you've got 41 decibels add that three times you're going to get a, a mining rig that's going to be 123 decibels of noise which is actually quite loud that's not how it works with noise or sound sources multiple sound sources it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't add addition, it doesn't get double the, the noise level. Um, sound or the science behind it is called log, logarithmic addition. Don't ask me how this formula actually works, um, but that's how, that's how it's calculated. And I've put on the page on mindtothemax.com an actual sound source calculator. In this calculator, you can type in your, your varying sound sources. So you maybe, let's say we had six, um, 1080 Ti's, um, it works out to 47, 48, sorry, decibels on that calculator. Now, 48 decibels is around about the same noise as a fridge freezer, so not really that loud. Um, as I mentioned um, previously, um, if you want to reduce the amount of noise in your system, what you can do, another, let me bring this up here, another, um, tip that I've got um, is to undervolt your GPU. And I happen to have um, a guide on undervolting your graphics card. Basically what that does is it reduces the amount of power from the electricity socket. So um, you, you're, you're not putting through as much power through the graphics card, but you can actually still overclock it. So you undervolt and overclock the GPU. What that does, it means it's obviously it's not as hot because there's less power going through it and it means the fan doesn't have to turn around as much which means that the fan is quieter the other benefit to undervolting that's quite common in the gpu mining sort of world um, is the fact that you're using that less electricity which means it's going to cost you less to run it makes you more profitable and that's kind of what my website's all about mindtothemax.com is looking for those little tweaks that's going to make you lots of profit um, or be more profitable in your mining rig explorations. Um, so on the undervolt here, um, I've basically got the tips on how to undervolt all the sort of most common graphics cards that are. There's two main tools that are used um, to undervolt. The first one's MSI Afterburner, that's for the GeForce cards. Um, and ATI have something similar. Um, it's called Wattman. Um, I don't have an image of that on the, the page, but it tells you basically the ideal settings for each of the top graphics cards. 
what power level you should have them in MSI Afterburner or what, man. So that's a really useful article, actually, and that's going to save you quite a bit of money if you follow it, especially if you've got multiple graphics cards on your mining rig um, and you're looking to reduce the noise. And that's really what it's, well, not only reducing the noise, but it's going to cost you less as well. That's probably even the bigger thing. Now, if you still are worried about the the noise levels on your mine rig, what I've heard other miners are doing is they're putting the mine rigs throughout their house. They're not having them in one location, um, and that just kind of you spread them around, and it means it actually keeps your your house a little bit warmer in the winter. We've had quite a long winter here in up in Scotland in the UK, on the west side of Scotland, on the east side of Scotland. So you know what, the mine rig in this room has been really useful. Um, and I'm going to get this card back up and running shortly. I was just giving it basically a quick dust um, today. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, um, you know what to do. Um, and uh, yeah, head over to mindtothemax.com. Um, and yeah, check out some of the other posts there. And, um, ways of where you can optimize your mining rig, save money, become more profitable in your mining operations. Anyway, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Thanks.